Hey, it's HJ and today we are going to talk about five, five simple practical tips for evangelizing. This is for anybody who's saved, any Christian, this is for you. So make sure to continue watching if you need five tips for evangelizing. So tip one for whenever you're getting ready to go out and evangelize is to remember to share the same grace and love that you receive from Christ. A lot of times we can go out with a bit of a sense of pride because we're talking to somebody who's not safe. We're talking to somebody who is living in their sin, loving their sin, has no desire for Christ. And we can come with a tone that is ungracious, not loving at all. And it's almost like we forgot that that was us. We were in their shoes. We didn't desire Christ. We loved our sin. We were living in our sin. We can completely share the gospel with no love and grace, which is like completely contrary to everything that we're sharing, which is love and grace. So make sure when you go out that first you pray, you remember, thank you God for the grace and the love that you've shown me. I was in their place. Help me go share this truth. Just remembering that I was them and somebody had to come along and evangelize to me. Somebody had to come along and tell me that I was dead in my sin and I needed Christ. So let me go with that same love. Don't forget it. All right, so number two is pretty important. Be respectful of people's space and time. Now imagine going up to somebody you don't know. You have no connection with, you've never met them, you're just going to evangelize and you're up in their grill. They're probably gonna be like, it's already uncomfortable enough that you're talking about my sin. Can you like not be in my personal space, please? So just make sure to give people space. Uh, be respectful of their time. If they have to go, let them go. If they have somewhere to be, if they say, yeah, we can talk, but I can only talk for 10 minutes because I have somewhere that I need to be. Shorten your dialect down to the time frame that they need you to fit in because at the end of the day, it's about them in this moment, right? So just make sure to be very respectful of their space and their time. Make sure they're comfortable. Make sure they're not like, who is this whack job that just ran up to me like two inches from my face? Jesus, 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 don't be that person, please. All right, number three is super crucial. Super crucial. <laughs> know how to articulate the gospel. And we can understand here and here, you know, that we've received grace, that we've given up our sin, that we live a life of holiness because of God, what he's done for us, what Jesus has done on the cross, all of these things. And we don't necessarily know how to tell it to somebody in story form, how to dialect that with somebody. Now you don't need to be a professor or a theologian. You don't have to be a pastor, but you do have to know at some basic level, just how to share the gospel. And if that's something that you struggle with and you really wanna go out and you wanna tell people about Christ and you wanna evangelize, just make sure to check out my video that I've posted before. It's called, What Exactly Is the Gospel? And it just shares the gospel with you. You can study it, you can write it down, you can practice it, and therefore you can take that to other people while evangelizing. So make sure to use that tool for sure. Number four, also very crucial. Let's say you're out in the street, you're out in the mall, you're in Walmart and the line checking out or whatever, and you're just sharing the truth and somebody does come to faith in Christ right then and there. You don't have to be in a church building to get saved. You don't have to be at church camp to get saved. You can get saved on a street corner. Your eyes and your heart can be illuminated to Christ anywhere. So let's just say that happens with you and this person gives their life to Christ right there. But now what? Because what if, what if you don't even live in that state? What if you don't even live in that city? And it's just like, dang, I, I can't disciple every single person that I evangelize to. So what am I supposed to do? Just stop evangelizing? No, make sure there is a solid church that you can point them to so that whenever you're done, you can say, here, Here's service times, here's this amazing church. There are people there that will walk through scripture with you, who will teach you um, all the things of Christ, who can just make sure that you're growing in the word, growing in your sanctification, who can hold you accountable, who can love you, who can pray with you. Here's a church, here's the times, get plugged in, and make sure that you have somewhere solid to point them to whenever you're done evangelizing. Last, but definitely not least, number five, this one just makes you feel like you can breathe after you hear this one. Just deep breath in, push it out because salvation is not in your hands. All right, number five is rest in Christ. Rest in the fact that it's the Holy Spirit's job to save, not your job. My job and your job as Christians is to share the truth, 
not to make somebody believe the truth. The Bible says that only the Holy Spirit can take what is foolishness to an unbeliever and make it wise in their sight and bring them salvation, illuminate the gospel to their minds and to their hearts. That's only the Holy Spirit's job. If you went out on an evangelizing day, um, or if you just happen to be talking with somebody in your school and they completely want nothing to do with what you're saying, just thank the Lord that you were able to be obedient to Him and ask the Lord to open their eyes and their hearts to what you said. And don't beat yourself up about it. Don't say, I failed. I can't do it. It's because maybe I didn't say this right. Or maybe I didn't present it right. Or maybe because I didn't know all the answers to their questions. Or maybe because I smelled bad or something. I don't know. It's not about that. So just rest easy. Breathe in and out. That's it. That's all five tips. If you have any more tips below for evangelizing, make sure to put them down in the comments below. If you have any questions, maybe there's something you disagreed with, let's talk about it below in the comment section. My name's Hillary Jane. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, share with other believers so that they too can hopefully learn and grow from this tiny bit of wisdom that I have. I promise I don't know everything, but the small bits that I do know, I'm gonna continue to share with you. So make sure to subscribe so you can get more whenever I have more to give. <laughs> One last thing is I have merch, merch, new merch, new merch for boys, for girls on my website, itshillaryjane.com. I'll put the link below and I'll put it right here. <laughs> That's all that I have to say.